Hi, my name is Stacey um, and I'm a member of the Connect Group based in Melbourne. I'm a Bachelor of Nursing, a Graduate Certificate in Critical Care Nursing and Master of Public Health. I work as a Clinical Nurse Specialist at the Royal Melbourne Hospital Cardiac Surgery Unit and also as a Senior Evidence and Policy Advisor at the National Heart Foundation of Australia. I am going to present to you this short educational video called The Sex Factor, where I will go through sex-based differences in cardiac care and how we can provide better care to women. Topics covered in this presentation include prevalence of coronary heart disease in women and rates of treatment in Australia, given it's the context in which I work, risk factors for heart disease in women, women-specific symptoms of myocardial infarction, diagnosis, treatment and outcomes um, in women, women in cardiac surgery research, improving care for women, and a short summary of key points covered. First, I would like to give you some background on prevalence of coronary heart disease in women and rates of coronary artery bypass graft surgery and interventions. Current, currently, coronary heart disease is the leading cause of death globally for women. In Australia, during 2019, one in four of all female deaths were from cardiovascular disease. In Australia, during 2018 to 2019, 93% more males than females were admitted to hospital for coronary heart disease. Uh, in the hospital setting, during 2019, coronary artery bypass graft surgery was performed more frequently in men than women. And men admitted to hospital with a heart attack are twice as likely to undergo uh, percutaneous coronary intervention or coronary artery bypass graft surgery compared to women. Reasons for the smaller proportion of women undergoing coronary artery bypass graft surgery include their lower prevalence of obstructive coronary artery disease and also barriers in coronary artery disease diagnosis and referral for intervention. Risk factors for coronary heart disease change uh, for women over their life course, with an increased risk of heart disease around the time of menopause. Traditional risk factors such as smoking and poorly controlled diabetes can pose a greater risk of cardiovascular disease for women than they do for men. In addition to traditional risk factors, there are also women-specific risk factors, which include polycystic ovarian syndrome, pregnancy-related conditions such as preeclampsia and gestational diabetes, some oral contraceptives, hormone replacement therapy, autoimmune disorders and their treatments, menopause, treatments for cancer, depression and anxiety. It's important to recognise these additional risk factors um, for women. Women-specific symptoms of myocardial infarction. Chest pain is the most common symptom for myocardial infarction in both women and men. Although women are more likely than men to experience non-chest pain warning signs, including indigestion, shortness of breath, uh, nausea, fatigue, tiredness, um, feeling faint, feeling anxious, sweating or having a cold sweat. As women are more likely to have these non-chest pain symptoms, which are less known, it can lead to delays in diagnosis and treatment. It's important that everyone is aware of these non-chest pain symptoms so that we can act on them in a timely way. Diagnosis, treatment and outcomes for women. There are significant sex differences in the clinical profile of patients receiving coronary artery bypass graft surgery. Women are typically older than men and more often present in urgent or emergency status and often have more comorbidities than men. The reason for higher mortality and morbidity for women compared to men after coronary artery bypass graft surgery are likely multifactorial and may include the fact that women have more comorbidities and are more un unstable on presentation due to the delays in their diagnosis. The difference in operative technique between men and women undergoing coronary artery bypass graft surgery could also contribute to worse outcomes in women. Such differences include the choice of conduit, use of cardiopulmonary bypass, completeness of uh, revascularization, and small coronary artery size in women compared to men. Women are also uh, less likely than men to receive secondary prevention uh, treatment. 
My colleagues and I recently published a paper looking at this topic, focusing on sex-specific differences in mortality after first-time isolated coronary artery bypass graft surgery. If you would like to read more about this topic, you can um, access through this link. Women in cardiac surgery research. Women are underrepresented in cardiac surgery research. Most research into cardiovascular disease has been done on men and those findings generalised to women. There is a need for greater representation of women in cardiac surgery research and we need women in trials to understand sex-based differences in treatment and outcomes. Barriers to participating in research also need to be addressed to enable women to participate. Women are often older and have multiple comorbidities, which may exclude them from participating in trials. If you would like to read more about women in cardiovascular research, you can read the paper that um, my colleagues and I wrote on the topic through this link. Improving care for women. Much progress has been made in cardiac surgery, although more needs to be done to improve care for women. Development of sex-based algorithms for timely diagnosis, risk stratification, monitoring and referral for interventions in women could help improve care. Including sex-based analysis into research and investigating mechanisms of sex differences can help improve diagnosis, treatment and outcomes for women. Improving participation of women into the trials can allow us to understand what is best practice care and lastly, a raising awareness, for awareness of sex-based differences, including women-specific symptoms and risk factors can aid in improving timely diagnosis and treatment. In summary, coronary heart disease is the leading cause of death for women. In addition to traditional risk factors, there are also women-specific risk factors for heart disease. There are sex-based differences in presentation, diagnosis, treatment and outcomes in cardiac surgery. There is a need for women-specific cardiac surgery research. Understanding sex-based differences in cardiac surgery can help us improve outcomes for women. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation. If you would like more information or to get in touch, you can um, contact us through mail or Twitter or the web um, through the links provided. Thank you.